All right, let's try this quick, real quick. Here's a guitar that I haven't played in a couple of years. I loaned it to some girl and she thought I was giving it to her. This is my slick black Cadillac. It's got Rolls-Royce uh, tire, you know, uh, cap on there for knobs and uh, it's nice great guitar let's try to do this quickly quickly
guitar. <laughs> I got it back Sunday. I haven't played it since uh, I got it back. And holy crap, the action is 10 miles high. Holy mo How can that girl play like that? It plays, it plays right. See, she's used to like, she's better than I am and she's like 18. But she likes a high action. I think she had a Paul Reed Smith. You know, her dad, you know, what do you want, honey? She wanted this all along. And she ended up settling for one of those BC Rich Batmobile looking ones. The mom thought it was too evil. So she gave it to me and then she came back saying she didn't have a guitar to play could she borrow this I said sure borrow anyways she either she somebody adjusted the action on this because it's 10 miles high and the, look at the the floyd is is <laughs> it's not right it's, it's no good it's no it's no bueno but uh i got it back so i got my baby back see for me this is my black guitar and then that white that looks like the concord but it's updated that's my white guitar and then i have a uh, les paul custom epiphone that is my randy guitar because the gibson one it's like playing the tree uh, trunk. I hate it. But the Epiphone is great. It sounds better. Plays better. Everybody that plays it thinks it's better. It says Gibson anyways because I had it changed. But I, they both say Gibson. One's a real Gibson. One's an Epif Epiphone. One I got for 100 bucks. The other one I got for 150 bucks. Both at the same pawn shop. This guy in Glendale he hates guitars. This is a few years ago he wanted them all out and I go how much for those two because I thought you know they had to be knockoffs and I'm looking I'm like oh, you're kidding me I could I, you know I was gonna just buy the Gibson and take off and then I said well let me see that other one and I saw it was the Epiphone and I'm like how much do you want because I just I say off and I go $200 both out the door 200 press tax so whatever so I got an Epiphone Custom, which plays 10 times better now that I got it set up right. Because I tried to, I switched bridges on it and it changed everything. I tried to make it look more like the Gibson Custom because of that stupid bridge. In reality, the Epiphone is superior in design to the Gibson. That's Gibson. They suck. People that are Gibson people, they're playing you guys. You're fools. None of the guitars are made here anymore. None of them. I went to Tennessee and got one guitar, that blue one, the blue Ace Freely one, because I wanted to make sure it was going to be exactly made how I wanted. What I wanted was uh, exactly like aces but I wanted the neck more like a epiphone so they got an cuz see that's not a one piece it's just you know a set neck it's not a one piece it's not a neck through so they get an epiphone neck they put the Gibson and the ace on there at the factory in Tennessee assembled it uh, and then the guy, uh, whatchamacallit, he, he sanded the uh, serial number off of it before I walked out with it. He said, just in case. He goes, if you ever sell it and we get, you know, I don't want, you know, because it could be tracked down. So he told me what to do to make sure it wouldn't be tracked down. They didn't do certain things because this was a, a custom. Ace said, no, I'm not going to do it. They couldn't get the deal together for the Gibson. They released a small amount of the Epiphones. That's why you can still get those crappy blue ones from China. But they're, they're, they're a really bad copy of the of the uh, Epiphone. And uh, the Epiphone I got is from uh, just a typical uh, custom 
uh, uh, Les Paul Custom, and you know, I told him what I wanted and blah blah blah. But the one that I got for the Randy Rhodes, it goes perfect, it's beautiful. So this whole Gibson thing is bullcrap. Why did I start? Oh, action. So the action on this is horrific. I gotta get this set up. I gotta get the Schecter set up. I gotta get the Dean set up. I gotta get three Deans set up. I gotta finish getting that the paint finished on that uh, Eddie Van Halen guitar that I got. Yes, it's an Eddie Van Halen guitar. This is made by a different company. And uh, and then I got my uh, my Steve Vai, but uh, it's being worked on right now. But it'll be ready for you guys to see and hear Thursday, I think. All right later. Probably too much talking. I know that was cheap and, you know, a silly little uh, three chord whatever. And when I tried to do a run, it sounded like poo poo. But I didn't know the action was that high. It looks nice though, doesn't it? It looks very nice. Very nice. Look at. Look. See these? They're Rolls Royce. These are 50 bucks a piece. These. And then this goes on the headrest. That's 50 bucks. So if you're willing to spend that, I don't know. It looks cool to me. Some people think it's stupid. Uh, stage wise, bad idea. Because they're too little to fumble with. But if you're not going to use it on stage, it looks cool to me. All right, later.